Just 10 cents a day helps fund local programs like Scenic Stops, Northwest Ohio Journal, and BGSU Brain Game. Watch, connect, explore. I have this picture in my head. I see my grandmother, Ruth, my mother's mother, the second daughter of Anna and Peter, standing there at the edge of the water. I see her there, standing at what is the end of the line for her first husband. Standing just behind her is her third husband. Well, I've been in theater um, ever since I was a little girl, I suppose, in some ways. If you ask my mother, she would say that because I was always doing some sort of acting in the, in the backyard. There was always a love of theater in my family, so uh, I was going to the theater even before I could walk, um, at least as an audience member. But I really started um, thinking about doing it myself when I was just going into college. So I started uh, in school uh, at, at, at my college. I started doing shows there and then um, auditioned for drum school. And that's when I um, got serious about doing it as a profession. These are the shadow lines defining the irreparability of loss and the pastness of the past. Illusions. Illusions of continuity. I see these ghosts, and they look back, but they do not see me. I recognize them, but they can never recognize me. The family history I that I have was not something that I really knew very much about when I was growing up. Um, we had this scrapbook that was in one of my mother's drawers in her dresser. And as a child, I was always somewhat fascinated by it, especially because I was told that these were relatives of mine, and, and I grew up with very few relatives. And so then to see these photographs of these people that were supposedly related to me um, was always interesting to me, as I suppose every family photo is to anyone. The thing that was different about these is these were professional photographs of, act, of dancers um, doing these wonderful kinds of um, poses of, you know, arabesques and, and you know, sort of lifts and um, extraordinary things. So it was always captivating to me to, um, to try to understand who they were. They were an adagio dance team, my grandfather and his sister. Uh, raised by their family who were also in the theatrical tradition. I later discovered, I didn't know that until much later. Uh, and they were trained very early uh, by their parents to combine essentially the two forms of entertainment that were represented by their father and mother. Uh, their father was a trapeze artist, an aerial performer, and their mother was a ballerina. And they were very celebrated, I later discovered. Who knows what's in the DNA? I mean, it is an irony that I found myself, you know, drawn to the performing arts only to discover that this was something that was in my family. And not just in my grandfather, but going back to his parents as well. Ah, there's a great loss. I mean, I wish I'd known these people. I wish I could have known them. They were so incredibly, um, not just talented, but trained. These were people who were deeply trained physically to do what they did. The great gap for me is, is, is seeing these still photographs and not being able to, to know what they really were uh, in action. When I originally began doing this research on my, my grandfather, I didn't know exactly what direction it would take. I knew I was trying to figure it out, figure out the story uh, as best I could. 
And so as I started to piece these things together, and let me say, when I first thought I was going to do a show about my grandfather, it was much more about his experiences in vaudeville and about the whole performance and, and their work. I didn't realize it was going to be, um, it was, I didn't realize till I started to write it that it was really going to be a, a family story that, that brings together my relationship with my mother, my mother's life, my grandmother's experiences, as well as my, my grandfather and his sister's um, professional career. This story, with, uh, with its visual element, um, the, the, the photographs, the, the images of my family, the, these you know, souvenirs from the past that give us some framed moment to look back on, on lives that have been living. They're such an important part of the show, and they needed to be in, the, in that show. I will tumble into the void, free fall and fight to find some foothold. No support, no habits, no rules. And in that unmoored space between what was and what will come, I will feel the folly of faith and continuity. There is no point of arrest. There is only another here, another now. For what is here? Just here. Is then just gone. I think theater has a currency, as I said before, between people. Um, the liveness of performance does something that other media cannot do. Um, you need to have theater in order to have that experience, to have it convey something that's beyond the telling of my story. That's the important part, is that the show tells, um, doesn't just tell my story. It's a kernel, it's a generative kernel that allows other people to think about their own stories. That's what makes it happen. Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org slash pledge.